Greetings, good morning, assalamu alaikum. Still in Lahore in Pakistan and today we're going to go on a little adventure outside of the city to some of the less visited areas. Uh, I've heard it's a little bit shady, I've been told not to go there but I've got a friend to take me over there. We're going to go and visit a traditional local Pashtun village. Uh, quite close, it's like semi-tribal area. So it should be quite an interesting action-packed video. So stay tuned. Um, we're just now, right now, we're at the, uh, it's kind of like a minibus, minibus station. And we're looking for the, the transport, the right, the bus that we need to take us over there. just found the little bus and there's about 15 people in this bus and um, how long do you think it'll take us about an hour an hour yeah it's gonna take us about an hour to get out into the countryside and get to the little village <laughs> outside it's like we're in a in a Stephen King movie can't see anything so we've just got off our first mode of transport as you can see it's so foggy around here and it's quite chilly and I think we're gonna get a little tuk-tuk or rickshaw and go to our little village, our Pashtun village. So we're actually on the back of a rickshaw. So we're facing in the opposite direction. So we've just arrived at a sugarcane factory where they press the sugar cane and make... Do they make the jaggery here? Yeah, they make the jaggery here because they just uh, cut, cut down all these, you know, sugar cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Here you can yeah. see the sugar cane. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they've got sugar cane all over there and yeah. then this is all the, the finished product. The finished product, yes. Yeah. Anyway, let's go inside. Maybe nobody's home. <laughs> it's pretty quiet. <laughs> oh, there's a guy there. <laughs> oh, here they are, you know, they are flaming the fire, you know? Like dry, drying it out. No, 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 he's not drying it out. They are just, you know, inside there's a big bowl. Yeah, yeah, I can see. It is boiling, you know. Ah, uh, so they boil the sugar. Yeah, inside they're boiling the yeah, sugar, yeah. And outside they're just flaming the fire. So he's just keeping the fire going. Going, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Either dry, either you can dry, see in there, there's a fire. Sugar cane, what you call it, straw. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then there's a channel that goes in there. Maybe this is for cleaning all the ash. No, this is this is like flaming through the air. Oh, uh, for the air. Yeah. yeah. This is for air. Yeah. Okay. Oh, you can just see through there. There's a little hole. I can smell it as well now. I can come round here. So you can just see in here, there's a tiny little hole uh -huh. and you can just see it all boy. Oh, there's a guy inside and he's like, uh, maybe we can go around and see in the other side. So this here is the, the juice. What, this, what do they this do? Is, they, they... This, is, this is the sugar cane juice coming out from here. Okay, yeah, yeah, from yeah. Here. yeah. Yeah. And from here it goes down here, Yeah. right? And this is how he's just, you know, uh, purifying it. That's all the crap. Yeah, it's the crap over there. Yeah. And then these guys are making these jaggeries. Yeah, yeah. 
So th this will boil down and down and down until it yeah, goes like a, it. like yeah, a paste. Yeah, they boil it maybe for five to six hours. Okay. Yeah. And you know, there's one more thing, like one is like the pure jaggery and yeah. sometimes they put sugar in it, you know? Yeah. To make it more sweeter. What, what is that then? Is that? That's the sugar disorder. The sugar disorder. Soda. This is soda. Soda, yeah. Baking soda. Just make a video of this, right? Yeah, they don't want their face. They don't want their faces. Huh? So they don't want their faces on the camera. There's a few guys here out in the field doing a bit of harvesting. So now it must be ready to, to harvest and they're going to put it on there and they'll take it to one of those processing plants. How they are, you know, what you call it, cropping it, yeah, yeah. Know, it, they're bringing it here. Let's go and have a look. Damn it. You're going to make a video of this and they're taking it to the... Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, so this load, they'll be taking it up, up to one of those processing plants when it's full. And it'll be pulled along. Oh, it's a bull. It's not a donkey. It's a big bull. Check out that big bad boy. <laughs> wow. And he's eating the sugar cane also. <laughs> He's got sugar cane all around his lips. Wow. Check out that. Wow. <laughs> it's very, very foggy, so I've got to be careful of the traffic. Make sure I don't get run over. So there must be like 20, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. There's probably about 10, 15 guys all working around here, all chopping up this, this sugar cane. Well, let's go and see how they're chopping it up. I'm not sure if they're using machetes or, or it just breaks and snaps because it is looking quite dry. There's a couple of bun oh those look like waste leaves. They probably use those, let them dry out and use them for the fire. Uh, okay, so they're using these. <laughs> <laughs> How's it like like that? Like that? <laughs> I try one. Let me try one. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> there you go. I'm skilled, I can do it. <laughs> do you want this one? This one is it? This one. It's good. <laughs> so I've just I've just chopped down my own piece of sugar cane. <laughs> and you can see the stub still left in there. Wow. What is your name? Samyula. Samyula. And you? Emadali. Eh. Amadali. Emazali, um, Emazali, Gary, Gary. <laughs> shukran, Shukran. Samula, Sim Sim. Samula. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> so they seem a bit more friendly here. They must have had their morning cup of tea.
So we've just arrived at another processing plant. They're a bit more friendly here and they said I can get involved in doing a bit of the work. So they're going to let me have a little try in a minute. So as you can see again, they're putting the sugar in there and uh, I guess the juice is going down and then inside you can just see over there they're boiling it up again <laughs> this jaggery is very very popular you saw like there was sacks and sacks of it in the market yesterday probably getting sent all around Pakistan let's go and have a look in here <laughs> this is it's more foggy in here than it is outside and there's a really really strong smell of like sugar or burning sugar so check it out and this is where they'll make the jaggery and, there, and there's a few sacks of the finished product smell <laughs> wow it's like a sauna like a sauna wow. okay okay yeah so this is the sugar sugar cane juice is coming into here yeah yeah, yeah. And then into here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, okay. Gotcha. I'll get. I, I bet my lens is getting steamed up. <laughs> so, so I'm being led this way. Okay, and then there's a little little guy over here preparing the fire again, as we saw before. Salam. <laughs> Bahar Maghrib. And he's putting putting all the bits inside. Wow. <laughs> Just throw it in. It's nice and warm here. <laughs> nice and warm. Hey, it's nice and warm here. <laughs> nice and warm here. Yes, yeah, yeah. Yeah. What? It's nice and warm. Yeah, yeah, it's warm. Yes. Yes, yeah. Because if we are Yeah. He's got the best job, I think. <laughs> He's got the best job. <laughs> but he's very resourceful, isn't it? Using this for burning. Yeah, they're clever, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Better than using the wood or. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they got like a like a fan to blow and keep the keep the fire going. And some tools. Check out the size of this rake. <laughs> Another little tool here. All handmade. And all the waste is coming out here and then this will go over there and th this will also go on the fire yeah this is this is wet go going in here no, though this is wet yeah but after it's dry yeah, after it's dry yeah yeah, yeah. you're gonna put it over here right and dry it in the sunshine dry, yeah 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 Wow. 
the owner. Okay, okay. Salam alaikum. And this is uh, diesel or petrol? Uh, diesel. diesel. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So this guy is the owner. One. Wow, wow. Uh, before it was like buffalo. Before this machine. How, how long before? Like Maybe 10 20 years, years? 20 years. 20 years. So 20 years before, it was powered by buffalo, probably just going around and around. So, probably saves a lot of time, this. Selfie time. So this guy's just eating the raw, the raw sugar cane. <laughs> Actually, you don't eat it; you just chew it. Yeah, just get the juice out of it. Plus. Last time I tried, though, it broke my tooth. <laughs> mm. You can't eat all of it, but as soon as you eat it, you can feel the juice coming out of it. Very, very sweet. It's like a like a juice, isn't it? Yeah. It's they are, they actually make sugar cane yeah. juice, don't so they? So how do you feel it? Like you just chew it. Is it sweet? Yeah. Very fresh. Very fresh. Mm. I think this guy, this guy here is a sugar addict. He was out there eating the raw sugar cane. Now he's come inside and he's eating the jaggery. So there's a heavy load on its way in. to unload all of this sugar cane. I wonder if this, this might be the same bull what we saw before actually. This guy. Oh, he's gone up there. <laughs> Even the bull likes the sugar cane. So this is what goes on in the Pashtun village. They all eat sugar all day. So we're right out in the countryside now. <laughs> the, the jaggery processing plant. You can see all the smoke coming out the top. So all of this area is the ancient capital of Kandahar. And I've just been brought over here because all these mounds, these are all ancient Buddhist stupas. And I can see some little caves over there. So I think I'm gonna go and have a little wander over there. So they're not actually caves, but they look like caves from over there. They're actually just lots of small holes. They could be actually birds nests or, yeah, I can see some like, little birds flying in and out of these holes but yeah apparently they found lots of artifacts here from the buddhist era because buddha buddha the buddhas were here in pakistan before before islam arrived 
but you can see lots of small holes and there's quite a big big kind of cave up there Let's see if we can get up there and some guys playing cricket over there yeah you see the birds flying in and out It looks a bit tricky. It might be a bit steep to get up there. It might be a little difficult. So I'll head back down. Whoops, I'm slipping already. Oops. So we've just arrived in the uh, the local bazaar where a lot of the farmers come to do their shopping. There's a lot of, lot of uh, office workers here, like civil servants. Uh, but there's all kinds for sale, all, all kinds going on. And we're gonna go and have a little wander inside the market. As you can see, fresh fruits, a lot of fresh dried nuts, dates, almonds. Uh, they got all kinds for sale here. Popcorn. Must be a cinema near here. Making his popcorn. More fruit. Fruit. All the dry, dried nuts. As you can see, it's very, very busy. Food, burgers, fruit juice, mixed fruit, fresh fruit juice there. I recommend those if you come to Pakistan, those fresh fruit juices. Very nice, probably set you back about 50 rupees. And we're coming up, it looks like the centre over here, the centre of town. There's like a roundabout. Square. square. It's a roundabout, it's a circle. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. And it's very busy, everybody's out shopping. Uh, lots of fresh, what is this? Uh, We've got kidney beans yeah. and chickpeas. Chickpeas, yeah. yeah. This is that organic chicken. Oh, soup, know. yeah. It's soup. very good, this. Yeah. So this. This guy's boiling up like chicken bones or like pieces of chicken. I'm okay, I'm okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like a consomme. And it's a little bit fiery. There's a lot of pepper in it. It's very good for your throat and your nose. kidney beans wow what's this guy making he's got a huge pan over here the local uh, like uh, from you know, from famous. kofta now it's minced beef and then it's onion like chop, a chop. Lo local burger no it's not a burger this is the famous dish we call it chifli kebab right chifli chifli, chifli, chifli kebab okay. it's very famous all over the province okay, okay. No, it is the best like you know it's a patty yeah yeah it's a minced beef onion yeah. Chopped tomato, herbs, yeah. Maybe when we come back, we can try it. We can try it somewhere else, it's not the best place. Okay, right? okay. That's a new break of a It smells okay though. But I, I know the best place. <laughs> yeah. Wow. Lots of fresh food. What What's this? This, this is like uh, processed meat. And now it's. It's not like that, but I, I don't remember like the not name. Tofu but or? No, it's, it's a vegetable. Okay, okay. With, with this sauce, they can use it like with this lime. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, salad yeah. all over it. Yeah. Is that yeah. chili? It, it's a mix, it's a mix sauce. It's a mix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yogurt. Yeah, yeah. No, no, this is like. This is this is like uh, what you call fish, it? Not fish. No, oh, stomach. Stomach. stomach, stomach, yeah, stomach. from uh, from the cow. Yeah, yeah what do you call it? Uh, like? Tribe. In English, we call this tribe. I hate that. I can't eat that. Hey, Actually, when when I was younger, uh -huh. my uncle he was a butcher, 
and we used to eat it raw with vinegar. You eat it sometimes like that in Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Masala fish. <laughs> this guy, what's this guy cooking? He's cooking some uh, some more of those burgers. Chocker, chocker. Fresh, fresh meats. Wow. So I think we're going, oh no, it's just down another main road here, but I guess the bazaar is all out on the main road here. Sunglasses. Fresh meats. Big balloons. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Didn't like that. I gave his little balloon a poke. Selling Fresh organic. eggs. Oh, organic. Homegrown. Homegrown. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Homegrown chicken eggs. Okay, okay. Yeah, again, this is the Nashwar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And you know, the Nashwar of this area, it's one of the best. You okay. Know? They put a lot of like tobacco and they put the slime powder and everything. Yeah. 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 <coughs> it's got ammonia in or lime though, I don't like lime, that. Lime powder. Yeah, lime yeah. Powder. yeah. The best rice over here, they call it like. Well, now we we all the challenge. It's rice. It's rice, but it's a different sort of rice, you know. It smells good. It smells good. There's a different sort. It's more it's like uh, some spinach in there or something. No, it's not spinach. It looks it's green, spinach. green, but it's spinach. Like they put a lot of spices in it, you know. Yeah. Yeah. It's like you know. spices in it okay right yeah and it's very spicy but it's not like a rice more like a saltish pudding you know? okay okay yeah then you eat it but it's a dish it's a yeah yeah dish. wow <laughs> and everywhere you have the big pots and people are coming yeah yeah <laughs> little bakers uh, and this is where they're making the nashwar right? okay okay so this is where they make the chewing tobacco looks like pieces of leather He's packing it. We're having a little wander down the other side of the street now, on the sunny side. So watch out for the traffic. There's just so much food, so many food shops, dried nuts, restaurant, drinks, fruit juice, it just goes on forever. <laughs> so many food shops, <laughs> so many, so much food. You could eat, you could eat different food every day here, couldn't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're a food country. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, 
spices. And Urdu. Not Urdu. Urdu very little. Like. Little? Some of them they don't speak Urdu. No, 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 no. no. They don't. Okay. So, yeah, so a lot of the, a lot of these people, they speak their own dialect. Pashtun, Pashtu dialect. Around seven dialects. So they speak yeah. a different dialect. Shoes. Mm -hmm. This is also one yeah, of the Yeah, I tried this. I don't yeah. like it so much, this one. <laughs> a lot of seeds in it. Yeah. I thought it was blueberries at first. Yeah, I have blueberries too. But it's good to get to walk, you know? Yeah. yeah Kids toys, perfumes. And this, this, they use this one for cleaning the teeth. And also it's... And uh, these are like... It's really... Worry beads. These are beads, yeah. yeah. Praying beads. We call them worry, worry beads. Worry beads. To, to relieve the stress. Yeah. <laughs> and it looks like bananas. They're frying up some, roasting some peanuts. So he's got a little clay clay oven on his trolley there. So <laughs> holy Okay. Popcorn. Ah. Salam. It was very lively down here. So as we were crossing the road back there, the policeman who were on, there were about three or four policemen on duty in the middle of the road. There was about three or four policemen on duty in the middle of the road and they called me and my friend over. Thought we were in trouble at first and then they invited us to go and drink tea with them. But we politely refused uh, because we've got things to do. Anyway, we're about to wrap it up here. We're gonna go back into Peshawar. It's been quite an interesting day, interesting video. I hope you enjoyed it. Lot of, lot of action. Nice to see the, uh, the Pashtun village life. I think we're going this way. Wow. Yeah, quite a nice experience. I don't think too many foreigners come out this side. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next little adventure here in Pakistan.